Hello everyone, Son of Beast here. Welcome back to another game of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. This next game is a series tied in between the New York Islanders and the Carolina Hurricanes. The top team in the Metropolitan Division and New York Islanders in the wild card section to try to take it revenge and try to bring it on with the run. Now, in this part of the game, it's going to be very difficult to find out who will take on against the New York Rangers in the second round after beating against the New Jersey Devils with amazing score of the 2-1 game. It's very hard to find out how are they going to succeed it. Because this wasn't the only thing that was ever happened in our team, life and beyond. But it's all it does because this was the harder team that they're making successful out of it. And because you have it all, well, you might have another decision to make. You're going to need to see what else you are they going to make. It's a lot of precision. You've got to step it through. Ring it out and spring it out. All games are definitely the tough that you can't stop on. Now, let's get you down to the PNC Arena. Standing by, have his test tube along with fan. And the center ice will be of course, Silver Spoon. I'll be back with the post-game show. See you all later in just a moment. But now, enjoy the next game. Here we go. It is game five. The series tied in between the New York Islanders and Carolina Hurricanes. We are about to set off, and we are ready for game five. Test to Pierre. And we are on. Game's about to be puck up, and we are underway. The courtesy lineup is being here as follows. We have a Sebastian Aho. Across the other angle, we have is Setchikov. Right towards the back of the angle, we have is Yarvis. But it's Slavin towards the right side of the wing. You could say that he was down already. The other guy has nothing to do with him. Because he was losing it out of his mind, he has no rights to do this. He's got to try to figure something else out. Here's Setrikov towards the outside of the wing, and now inside the wing is Ho. Aho right towards the outside, now finds Slavin. Yaris to, to Aho, and Burns towards the out wing. Aho right towards the middle, takes a shot, hit the goal post, and just went right to Sorokin. That's your starting goaltender for the New York Islanders. It went on a goal line, it will not count the puck here. Yeah, you could say that it was very uh, tricky. Not really a close call because it was very that difficult to try to maintain its run. Don't get enough to do this because this was a hard one to try to regroup the puck inside out. We don't want that to be happening here because this is a very that hard to try to maintain its run. We don't want that to get right into it. And Anderson will hold the puck here and the other side is your starting goaltender for the Hurricanes. Puck is about to be set here ready to face off in, in the offense zone. Still no score this one. Now with Pellets with the win. Ironhead shot stopped by Anderson. Pass right over to Nekas. We'll, we'll try to kick the puck over again, and Pellets has it. Now swings over across here to Paris. Paris towards the inside of a wing, now in the, in the middle. Nelson has a recover there. And Palmieri blocked the shot here, and Skeji has a puck. Now is Ekas. Carries along the outside of the wing. Tarvainen has it across here for the wing. Skeggy swings to pass. Pass toward the outside. Finds Tarvainen. Open shot. Stop here by Sorokin. And Sorokin was really not making a great save out of it because that was a very clean look. He was wide, wide open already. And you say, this wasn't the only game that was that difficult to maintain it. But, uh, you know, I guess that it was very that different. Because this was a very that hard to try to uh, deflect the puck and block it at the same time. That's a very different uh, move on the setups in the chain. They might have a re re uh, reinforcement to go with the regroup. Stall towards the outside finds Goddesphere. Goddesphere inside! Stop it here and it's on off the side of Sorokin. The Han's got it now. Now swings to Goddesphere. Nekis towards the wing. Gives it off to Stall. Now swings off to the Han. Move over to Norton Martin. Look. 
Trying to give it off to Dehan. A lot of back to back passes for every Hurricane players. Narcos dejected off right towards the wall. Stall right towards the again to Nekos. Nekos backhand shot. Trying to put it up in here. Stop again by Soroke. Reader in the front. Stop again with his huge save. This one's a very tough one to call that, as right now, Soroke makes a three time stop save. Battling with a loose puck here, and Goddess Spear has it out. Nozen has the puck here, now swinging over across in the offense zone. New York Islanders are picking up their run. Holak with the puck, now finds Martin. New York in the offense zone. Stolby Anderson has got a spear with the step. Try to put it over. Fashing. Suzuki's. Try to put it in bounding. What a stop by Anderson. Yeah, it's tough to say, but it was a very close call because that was a very tricky move. Now into the faceoff play was on the attacker. The score still scoreless. Now here's Romanov. Throw the wing. It's blocked by Burns. And Horvath has it now. Right toward the wing and outside of a rut. Knows it. Hold the puck here. Try to put up a rebound and slap shot. It sticks, sticks out as Anderson carries on. Pollock towards the inch outside of a wing. Now finds Lee. New group changes as right now Slavin gives it off to Shetikov. He gives it off over to Yarvis. Now Yarvis has the puck here. Now swing to Slavin. Slavin to Burns. Burns swings it over right into Yarvis. 12 minutes to go here in the first period. Still scoreless in the game. Trenzikov shot. Good play here by Sorokin. It's blocked. Chopping the puck. Yarvis. Trying to put an attacker on Romanov. Horvath's got the puck here. Now swing to Polak. Over to Lee. Lee trying to make a move. Good pad save here by Anderson. Anderson was doing really well. He's just really like regaining the group up here. I see this the call here on Carolina as right now 1104 has remained. And this is the top one to play inbounding. If you're seeing what you're going for, you've got to step right towards the game and try to make a win. A lot of the face-to-face -face of the head coach is really turning out to be one of the tough ones out here for tonight. They're absolutely true because this was nothing to go with out there for most games. Nothing will tell you which one is the best play. You've got a lot of it, and you've got to get it down. First penalty called on interference. That will be Brent Burns in the penalty box. And he just made a rough on the Islanders player. Yeah, it's not good because you can't just do as You can't make an interference. You can't hold the player out there. They're going to make a call out of it, and you know you're going to be in trouble. Dinosphere will try to fire the puck out of there to clear the ice down. The power plays on for New York Islanders. Now back in the wing. Hurry, Sketchy takes it over. And Fast will try to carry it out. Boom with the flop. And, and Sorokin will try to give it back to Nelson. Kubula right over to Bailey. Bailey's in the move and a hustle. To Paris. Right to Colorado. Make a shot and stop by Anderson. Just passing a midway period in the first period of the game. Now firing along the way to Fast. Try to give it off back to the net, but it won't go. Kubula to Bailey. New York and Steen. Hurry shot. Stop by Anderson. Here's got a sphere right towards the uh, wing of the offense. We'll try to pick a big play in the mounting. And they're just never going to get it over it. He's down and he's hurt. It's not very good because that was a very brutal injury. You know this wasn't a good thing because everyone was keep on going. They fight for it, they want to get over it. Power play's over for the New York Islanders as right now they're back to even strength. They're very good play on the offense though. You know, they're very a great team because everyone else is keeping their eyes on run. They've done a great job out there. They've really enjoyed it. Go Tammy! And Sorokin stops it with a huge save with 8.17 to go. Oh yeah, Sebastian Ava went down. It's very not tough because the player on the first starting of the lineup, it looks like Sebastian Ajo will have to take the rest before heading back on ice. 
And with Carlos, Jacob Slavin has it shut down right towards with a jailbreak action. He made that one on his own part of the game and made that one a clear look on defenseman run. He can make a block shot, he can block the pass, and take a crouch down. Elias Sorokin has a lot of the spacing of the post-to-post -post saves of the game. His wild crazy runs are into the offense zone to try to pick up the run. Every play he has, he makes a wild save and takes him over from right from the wild line. This is tough though. And you know, this is the one that everyone was keeping an eyes on. I'll be watching on one of the player of Jacob Slavin and Elias Sorokin. That'll be the next one, right towards the during in the game. Back to you guys. No puck to give it a here. And Pellets lost the puck. Gives it over to Mayfield. He finds an open man. Pokes it away. Mayfield takes it away. It it. Oh, it's a broken with a save. What a play. This was very that tough. You can't just get rid of Sorokin. Come on, man. You know that he was definitely good. Now the faceoff's coming up here. As right now, they're still scoreless. Looking for a goal to play out in this game. Marty gets smashed right towards the neutral faceoff. And Stahl regroupsing over with the puck. Martin up towards the outside of it and fast right to Slavin over to Burns. Burns around the man. Takes it in front. We gotta stop it again by Anson Rokin. And Pollock takes it over. Passing right over to Martin. Right around Slavin and kicked it away by Anderson. That better play is not going to be enough to try to like, go from the offense zone, but you can tell that it was very that different. Romanov trying to pick up the fight. Bullock on the inside. Five minutes left to play in the fir first period of the game, still scoreless. Sebastian Avos back on ice. He's still okay and he's ready. Passing! Oh, went too wide and this one goes off target. Romanov will try to score it over to Bullock. Paris right towards the wing. Stretch it around and Skizzy has it. Amazing spin move and now they're back in the offense to do it again. Sebastian Ago on the other hand has got the puck. Paris right towards the outside of the wing. In the middle! Regroup with stop save by Anderson. Pass right over again to over to Nozen. Over to Yarvis and now we'll fire the puck right towards again. Chatsy finding the right man advantage and it's still out of, of luck. Takes a smash right towards the wall. Got a spear right over it again to take it back. Scoop of a lot of board by Nozen. Now Dehan. Outside is Got a spear. He finds Stepan. Stepan. Nowhere to go and it goes out of reach and nowhere to be found. Yeah, it looks like the guys are really like trying to like close the gap on him. That's a great job here on defense because you want to keep it right towards it without going in between the zones. That's very hard to try to regroup on offense, and they really have no thing else to try to maintain their way. This run was a very tough one to take him out. Nelson right towards the outback over to Lee. In the King's territory finds Nekas. Finds Dobson. Gives it off to Palmieri. Trying to move around the man. Palmieri right over the lead shot. Saved by Anderson. Anderson got a very good bad one. Nearing down a final minute of period in the first. It is still scoreless. Looking for a big open score change to start out for game five. Good stop by Teravainen. Katemi on the fast break! What a move! Oh, it's Sorokin with this huge stop. Couldn't pick up the rebound and try to pick it back in. That's very that tough. You know that Sorokin was very that tough because that was a very plentiful play to make an inbound. Moving over toward the man. Into the way here, another save here by Anderson. And trying to pull it out. Nick is trying to pull him himself free. Oh, misfired across the Slavin. It looks like they will have to try to like leave it zeros in the mark. And Sebastiano will clear out. 
So that is it for the first period. A lot of great hits and saves. No score in this one. We'll get to the second period right after this. Ready for period number two. Still scoreless. We're trying to find a goal. Now we're ready. In back towards along the ward, we have his lead. And Birds have it out there with the puck steal. Let's have a look at the summary happen. What's going on here in the first period that we saw in the last game there, fan? Well, it looks like there's a lot of a play of a saving inbound here as Elias Sorokin was really like playing in with the majestic of the offense. They were really like trying to like scoop him out of here because this was a very hard team to try to maintain its run. All of this happened because it was very tough to try to take him out and pull him right towards with a stop. They're really a tough team because you know this was very that difficult to try to maintain its run. Other players can't get over it. They really got to try to find somebody else to try to go with the offense run. And they really have to show them off as soon as they can. That's a hard part. I'll go shot and stop again by Iria Sorokin. And Mayfield gives it off to Hoken. Howard to Pelich. Pelich loves saved by Anderson. Now Slavin has the puck. Gives off to Svetsikov. Trying to carry a puck around to Nickus. And Kotemi has one. He finds Sketchy. With the shot! Stopped by Sorokin. Now that's right over again to Lee. Now he swings across here right towards the wing on the offensive side. Try to roll around the middle. Mayfield and stopped by Anderson around the way. Here's Kotemi right towards the outside. And Sketchy has a puck here. Any offense zone and the attacker now finds over again to Taravainen. Taravainen swings it past. Pass right over to Skedgy. Skedgy to swing to Dekas. Dekas around the man. In the middle in front of it. And stopped by Sorokin. Taravainen resets the puck here to pass. Pass got a shot. We go to the chain. And he scores. Taravainen. That's a tricky shot to the back of the angle from the goaltender. They got one. Alright, let me look at the replay again. I think that was right around him. It just tipped him off. It just went in. That's a great move for Terramine to pick up a goal. That's the part where the Marinekis was bringing it over to Terramine. That was very tricky. And the motion was very that tough. They couldn't see where it was going. That's a great play. He was running up right towards the outside of it and now finds over fast. Now swings off to the stall. Soul shot! Scores! It's the now 2 roll. A pickoff play to start the second period. You could say that Jordan Stahl was out there. Every player you get there, you just have it right towards the offense and you got a perfect vision to give it over. It goes through along the offensive run. They really got a good start. Yeah, I gotta say that Jordan Stahl was very that well. The tricky one was very that bad. It's not bad at all. But you can say that whenever Jordan Stahl has one, after fast with the assist, he's got it all with a great shot angle. The perfect for it. They really are one of the best this year in the games and offensive players. They've done a really well play. Now I'll be keeping an eye on here on Jordan Stahl to have another run. After you, Test Two. <laughs> Thanks so much. I can say this one now, Silver Spoon. He were really on a great track. I know they did. <laughs> now finds Mayfield. New York in the offense territory in the Kings. Try to bait the shot. Try to go with a two-time stop and stop by Anderson. Got his fear right over to step on. Step on. All alone. Two on one. And knows it got it blocked. Got spear right towards the outside. Trying to move around the man. Now swings and burns. Got spear swings and knows it. Gets down and rejected. And Roman Ops to Martin. Try to swing the puck over again. And Got spear carries offside. That will be on Kings. And get ready for the face up coming up. Now the players are set, ready to take the neutral face off zone. Carolina extending the lead up here for 2 0 of the run. Now here's Romanov. He will try to swing it off to Martin. Martin gets squished up. 
smiling, brings over to Mekas. Mekas swings the pot right over to Katemi. Katemi, right over again to Slavin to Burns. Slavin gives off to Mekas. On the backhand! That gets deflected and it goes right toward the glass, almost went out of play. And pass broken up. Her binary groups the puck, now gives it off to Danekis. Give back to Taravainen. Over to Burns. Find Slavin. Slavin shot! Stopped by Sorokin! Glove saved out. Oh, I almost got bigger in trouble out there. Taravainen got it. Try to make him run out of it, and Polak has it. Romanov swings over again to Martin. He swings to Polak. Over to Sizikas. Off the first day, shot glove save by Anderson. They really are a good play because this pick was very intense. You don't have enough ability to maintain the goals. It's very that tough when you try to stay alive. That play is a very tough one to go Ben bounding. And we got a delay penalty, and this one will be called for a, a holding call on Hudden Fashioning. He's in the penalty box. Not able to complain of what happened already. Yeah, and you say that whenever Fashing does, he was right on the board. You're not going to let them do that. Power play coming up for the Hurricanes is right now, both teams have no goals in the game in the power play. Here's Mayfield. Yarvis. Going in! Oh, great stop pay by Hurricane. Nelson will have the puck here right towards the offense zone, and he fires it across right toward around the net. Turbinus swings over to Nekas. Just inside the corner, Nekas. Over again, Shotzi! And good stop made, Holmstrom. Try to pick up a move. Scoop up along the board by Turbinus. Carolina back on the attack. Yarvis towards the outside. Now swings this Skeji. Skeji right over to get into Tervainen. And now it swings off to Nekas. Nekas right towards the outside. Oh my look! Skeji stopped by Sorokin. Great timing attacking because Sorokin was able to show up. He really did have it all. We passed the midway period and now we have a silver spoon standing by. Sebastian Argo is a relation to take a third eye on a Kai. On this game for Game 5, he was trying to look for the open passes with the uh, game in the regular season and in the postseason game. His latest in the out and invention of his game is very tough to find an open key that you're looking for offense. This is one of the better plays that Sebastian Alvo does. I'll be keeping an eyes on here with an open look and open man advantage. Back to you. Looks like he's ready to go. And the power play comes up empty-handed for the Hurricanes. No goals in between the power plays of Islanders and for the Hurricanes. Looks like they're starting to get a little physical out there. They never want to fight because they don't want to do it. Great stop here by Aurelia Sorokin. We only already passed the midway period, and as now as Romanov gives it off to Aho. Aho to Skeji. He gets it to fast. Pass! Run around the man! Oh, shuts it down on Sorokin right toward the chest, stopping the play with only coming down to eight minutes. Now they're ready to do this one again. The score in a chain is 2-0. And now it's Horvath with a win. Here's Engvall. In the attacking zone, Engvall. And gets knocked out. Engvall. Mayfield recovers. Stop by Anderson. Get off of me. Fast goes right towards the pass. Pass over to Martin Nook. Here's Fast. He fires the puck right over to Stahl. Trying to make a move on the offense zone. He swings to Horvath. Horvath towards the end. To take the shot and stop again by Anderson. Stall right towards the outside of the wing and now goes right inside of the offensive territory. Try to make a pass, but nobody is open. Here's Lee in the middle. 
Shot went wide, and it goes right towards the wall. Horva! Good block play by Stepan. And Nozin will take over to Satsni. They're very good at offense because you can tell by the range of his sight, they really are starting to step it up. They really want to have done the bestest there, fan, for, for one of each plays. They've done a great one. I know they did. Chassis scores! There's your deflection in. They have extended now a 3-0 game. That's you call it your Chassis. This is a very tough play you can count on after a save and a right around the back man. Nice shot for Chassis. That's a very tough play to keep it inbound. They're all saying that Paul Shatsny is really doing well in his own game. As for Stepan himself, because he was able to take right towards the man. Try to make a shot, but it was saved. And it's Sarukin. They've done one of the better plays out this game, and they really are stepping it up. The stronger, the better attackers. And is it stopped made by the save? Here's Ako right towards the other side. Home server for now. Oh, got a little piece of that one. Ajo swinging across the other side. Icing is whistled and it's now 4.23 left to go in the second period of the game. There are better plays in this advantage. Frederick Anderson and Lydia Sorokin are de definite in, in position between the tricks. They're really one of the toughest one. And you say because this one is all has to turn down and up. I don't know if we have seen what Allmark was saying because he was realizing of what his team did for the last part of the game after they put up a win. And you know this was a very tough one because everyone was complaining. All has to go for Allmark, but they really are definitely a good team because they were really a authentic run and they really done it the best. They were really not hard to try to maintain its run and try to give it off to here. I know I, can, I couldn't think about it more, but you could definitely still spot it on. Sorry towards the outside. Stop here by Sorokin. 3 or 2 left to play in the second period, getting a little bit closer to the end of the second period. Now they're ready to take the face off in the glider zone. Score of extension run. Carolina looking for a lead in the series. And Slavin blocked the shot. Terry over to Burns. He swings to Deckers. Now Terry has it out. Takes a shot! Oh, Sorokin got a good pace of it! And tries to puck it out and will hold it with 2.40 to go. Now they're ready to do it again. It is a tough score to make an imbalance of this game. Burns right over again to Nekis. And back to Slavin. With the shot, it's blocked. Now to Slavin. Over to Katemi. Excuse me, Katemi to Burns. Now Slavin. Shoots! Scott save. Cuts it away from Sorokin. Now stopping the play with only 2.02 to go in the second period. Now they're ready to do this one again. With the win of the faceoff, here's Dobson. Nelson tries to, tries to hold it from the puck. Now he swings to Ako towards the middle. Harris. Boom! And crush down! <laughs> I think that was a smash hit. <laughs> yeah, you know, that was a very a tough one. And they were saying that <laughs> the win was part of a fight. It's a lot of the hard ranging responses are that simple. Last minute of the play in the second period and try to make the rebound and it's off again. Sketchy trying to pull it right towards again to Martin Duck. And trying to roll it across over to Stahl. Stahl shot! Rebound went fast! Oh! Just got it in there! It looks like that Martin Duck was tipping it about. He got it, he says. Boop! There goes the weasel and Martin Duck has one. Yeah, I think the puck was in there. In a crease, I don't think that Martin Nick was going to make it there in time. That was very that tough because you could say that whenever Martin Nick has one, he tries to go with the gopher and try to and then try to hook it right into the net. That was a better play to make that advantage drive. Now for Engvall. Shot stopped by Anderson. We're down to the wire. 
Chassis. Right step on. Try to make a move. Backhand shot. Deflected right towards the glass. And that's it for the second period. They got extension, a 4 nothing lead over Islanders. We'll see the Islanders have the Colts to take it back when we come back. Third period is next, after this. It's all about to go down. Third period about to begin. And it's been an incredible game as we all really loved hockey and this was the fan favorite to call for the postseason postseason playoff mode. This player game this was a very interesting night because we all love to play here for hockey for fun. And those are bad players that just really didn't want to do it. They could just play here for fun and say, are you in a hockey mood? Because you know I am. They say yes, sometimes they say no. I just, I'm not really sure if I would, am going to be in a hockey mood. I don't think no competitors will do this. Offsides the call on, on Carolina. Uh, in the face of Kona. And you know I gotta talk about that one for you, Test 2. It's one of the better players they really love to do hockey here for fun. But we only did one thing. I guess we did the Glacier one. Yeah, I think that was the last one they have done. It, and while I was not here, and definitely the same thing with you, they've done it here for the last part of the episode, that was number 13. If you're into my channel, you better go hit out here for a new episode in the United May Society Invitational Episode 13. That will be the next one, right towards with the list. And hopefully you can get in there too. Plus, if you're also looking for another players, we, we do have some another announcement for you guys, so stay tuned for the next whistle. Here's Pellets right towards the wing, and now in the offense zone, trying to pick up the steam. Swings back to Nelson. Now in the middle is Paris, and it goes with Katemi right back the other way. Trying to make a run out of it, and Pellets took it away. Sizikis right with the puck inbound. Finds Martin. Martin towards the wing. On the outside. Oh, he's smashing. Shot. Stop. Scores! Now Sizikis has the goal after assisted here. And the Islanders are on the run. You say what Sizikis was very important. They really say because they were not really sure how are they going to get there. Because of Bastion, he was out there. My player in this ever, because of the fast place of this game, could be very not tough will be because of the inbounding was very tricky. There is nothing to say about what was wrong with the part of the game because everyone was thinking, that, oh yeah, Bastion, you should go deliver yourself up there and then try to play for the game. Or he said, I don't think this may not be that possible out there. And because the Zizikas was really making that pass out of it and make the goal, he made it around Anderson. That's a better play, you have an advantage. Looking for the puck is Fashday. Now Pines over Pellets over to Martin. Martin to the wing. That won't be happening here. Stall over to Fast. Finds Sketchy. Right towards the on-man rush. Shot! Stop! By Varlamov. And that will be the new starting new goaltender for a substitution from Ilaria Sorokin. Now we're ready to take the face off here in the offense zone. The score is 4-1. Better than a, bit a great game. Better than the, uh, better than the off-play and balance game. Shatsy. Finds Dose. Backhand shot. Oh, the other man will have that one with a save. Pass. Right towards the middle. The offense got it in right away. Holmstrom found Mallory for the loose puck. Pull up towards the outside and now we'll swing it off again to Kuvula. Uh, Kuvula to Bailey. Bailey shot. Stopped by Anderson. Nozick gets down right towards the wing. Romanov swings a home show. Try to pick up the Bailey. And Shatsy has one. Now gives off to Nekas. And no good on the play in the motion. He could have tried that better, better. Well, if this was a kind of play in the motion of this one, he would have stayed in the net. Now Nekas will have it back. 
He fires it across from the ice. And still keeps on holding. Now Garnasphere. De Haan. Oh, got a little smash out of it. Ice spear. Gets bound up. And Nekus tries to get it off the nose head. And they're keeping it out of here. Bullock right towards the offside, right towards the cool of Olaf. Hope to the way. Try to hold on for it. Anderson stopped. And Romanov has one. And good shot blocked by Spetsukov. That's a great play because you know Spetsukov was really good for the block shot. That was great. Great play on a, on a defense run. Deflection! Get off of the town and this one's going to be a toughest play to keep it out of the net. The interference call is on Ryan Pollock and he's in the penalty box. Well, that would be goes to number one. That's another penalty here for the New York Islanders. They are having a hard time. The Kings will have a power play advantage to take another win. Now with Pellich, who we'll try to deliver over to Palmieri. Try to bring it over in motion. With the shot. It's glove save, pad saved up here by Anderson. Avo, bad pass, broke it up. Zizikas. Right around him and he goes. Now the other way is Setsukov. Try to rules, make, try to rules, and ace it back into the game. Apple. Apple swings across. No, it? Oh, that was close. We could have had that goal in there. Yeah, he should have had that one. You know, it was not very that tough one because everyone was going to make that one tricky in the man bounding. We really have so much to take care of. Hello, I'm going to save again. Very huge stop. Love saved by an arm out. Well, all the buck and now down to mid period in the third. And attention all in enemy sanity fans. The tickets are happening right now here at the Sabian Media Center, happening on Sunday, June 25th. And in New York City of Gerald W. Lynch Theater in New York City. That will be happening here on July 8th on Saturday. So this was the next part of it. If you want to get in it, you got to get your tickets here online before they are gone and sold out. So if you want to head in right now, it's now free for you so you can go right towards the show and enjoy it as you can. For 2 p.m. show, only cast is for the screening only, so that will only happen in 2 p.m. For, for each part of the weekends. And you can be the next one in it. We'll see you across here for the BFDI and the Anime Sandy Experience of 2023. Katemi right towards the outside, now finds Fast. Fast buys your shot. Oh, fair enough. Save again. Mayfield right towards the inside of a range. Takes it in front of him, right from the wing. Right around the main advantage! It's blocked up here right as Duhan will have it out. Puck is out. Now Martin, no. Martin Hill. Try to find a man advantage. Try to find an open pass, but it's Engel with a stop. On a pass break. Engel shot! Stop by Anderson. Martin Hill gets down right to the ground. They're just going to be out there where they're fighting all over the team. They really have nothing else to go with that one as a tough stop. And right now Anderson will hold it with under seven minutes to go in the third period. Leadoff change here for right now for another faceoff coming up. Now Horvath. That's 40 saves in a row for Anderson. Fast has it out. He fires it across to Stahl. Stahl swings to Burns, right to Slavin. Slavin gets re-knocked out. Not this time, because he has it already recovered. And try to make a move over to Martinuk. Burns. 
try to reach out and across and slab and we'll have to regroup again. Always got an open spot because every player are just going to have to try to make it inbounding to make it count. We don't want that to be out there, out of here because if you do, you're going to need to try to like fix it for yourself. Yaris with the puck now going into the other side. Yaris keeps it going without cold icing. Spencer Kopp to Romanov and Polak over to Paris. Five minutes left to play in the third period. Paris lost the puck. Now finds Yarvis. He fires it across. Around the net. Spencer Kopp has it won. Gets banged out in the wall. And Yarvis has the puck. Trying to pull it right over again towards the Skeggy. Skeggy trailing, trying to find a man to open her. Petrikov to Akko. Shot! Stopped by Relanov. Nelson swings over to Palmieri. Palmieri right to Paris. Paris in the net. Good save B by the goaltender. Trying to make a good pass to give it off to him, but it was knocked out too soon. Trying to cross it up the corner, and now it's Palmieri with the puck. Give the Paris. To the middle. Stopping. Glove save by Anderson. I know what they're thinking because they are saying Anderson rocks. Lost the puck. Step on. Step on will give it over to Skeggy. Dehan trying to regroup and give with the puck. Now finds over Satsney. Oh, he lost the puck. Goes in. We'll try to carry over to Skeggy. Skeggy to Satsy. Satsy shot. Slap shot. It was loose out. Neon and Skeggy. Nearing down two minutes to go in the third period. And they are starting to get right into the way to make a win in a leading series. Series. Sumit. Knows it. I can't stop by Varlamov. Varlamov is still receiving another save. He might be returning again next season. I don't know if he is. Well, it might be a little tough on a bit on him because everyone really knows they've got a lot of it to try to hold it out. Just one minute to play in the third period and the Hurricanes are going to make a win in Game 5 before, before heading back to Long Island in UBS Arena. Now they're going to have to do is keep on training. Slap shot. Holds it for Anderson. Hold the puck with only 43.9 seconds in the third. Now with the answer for the call, Jacob Slavin. Jacob Slavin is one of the better players in the defensive zone area. He's really one of the bestest. And you can tell him by the example for Jacob Slavin was given a one-word shot. The range was that simple, and he done one of the best to do for the offense and defense. Katemi right towards the outside and got a spear. Puck leaves out of his own. Burns will try to regroup on offense to Negus. And Sezekis got the puck. Martin. Martin tried to swing it up and across. In the middle and stop again here by Anderson. Just down the wire. And shot. Good stop by Anderson. They were all saying because everyone really knows they've just done it again. And Terrible in will close the game. And that's your win. Your final score for tonight is 5 and 3. Now this series is cut up to Carolina lead a 3 to 2 game. Yeah, I'll have to salute fans out there because all we know, Anderson, was a tough game to make it all count. With all in a celebration in the center ice. Oh, wow. That's a slammer. <laughs> I like that one. That's amazing to call that one. Game five and a boom, smackdown. Well, as we're being said right now, test tube is done. And along with Fan and Silver Spoon, this has been a presentation of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Thanks for joining with us and have a wonderful night. Alright there, Test 2. Thank you so much, and this was an excellent game. Now the extension of this league comes up with 3 and 2. We will get the next period to keep your eyes on the deck to find out for more. Now, closings off for the three star players of the game. The third star goes to Jordan Martinuk. With a goal assist and hit, 
He only did just one. And just take it in. They try to push the puck in towards the goal line and in. Second star goes to Jordan Stahl with a goal and assist. Really had nothing to take care of it, but he was all taking his own with a slap shot and made out an end for the second period. And your first star goes to Frederick Anderson. 46 saves, .979 percentage of the game. He's done a really excellent run in game five of the history of the making. That's a lot of franchise history scores and they are really pulling it up, pushing P. And yes, that was a tricky angle. Thanks to Taravine and he made that one creation in there. And now let's have a look at the total statistics on the side over here. 47 and 45, 12 shots on goals. Very close call. 32 hits and 6 hits for New York and Carolina. Then 1239 and 443 for the time on attacks. 91 percentage and 77 for percentage for Carolina and New York. 22 faceoff wins for New York Islanders and 8 for Carolina. And then it was penalty minutes between the Islanders and the Carolina and power play between the same. Four minutes for Car Carolina, four minutes for Islanders in the penalty, two minutes for the Carolina penalty kill, and four and two minutes for the Islanders power play. And there are no shorthanded goals made. No power play goals, just clean, clean runs. Well, I guess that's it for the Carolina Canes and the Islanders. The next game will be happening here in game six to keep your eyes on, and the winner of this one will take on against the New York Rangers here for the first round here at either place of the game, at the Garden or at Carolina and PNC Arena. So thanks for watching, and peace out everyone for us a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports Style. This is Son of Beast, and thank you for watching. Adios, amigos. Stay tuned for the next game, Kings and Oilers, the last one in Game 5. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.